So hello everyone. In the previous chapter, we created our procedure named as sp underscore name. So we will not go into details of like what all statements we can use within a procedure like here. So let us in this class just understand what all things we can do with this stored procedure that is sp underscore name. So at first, like there is an area in the left panel which we have already discussed. Like you can see the uh, database name inside this database, you can see all the stored procedures which belong to this database. So stored procedure does not belong to a table. They belong to a database. Similarly, view also does not belong to a table. They belong to a database. So you have the hierarchy over here and like we can see the stored procedure. And then we can also see the stored procedures by this show procedure status like the statement. Just go ahead and run it. So you will be able to see all the stored procedure which are there in the system. Now you can put up uh, like various where clause like saying that in which db where db equal to sdv. So you are just giving a statement over here like finding up the where clause work clause. So in test db you have these stored procedures. You can see like we have sp name increase counter get total. So now this was one way of like seeing up all the stored procedure. Second is like the information schema. So this is actually where like this particular query uh, is getting results from. So show stored procedure are getting results from information schema. So you can also directly like go into this and like find out the routines. So you have to find the routine of type procedures. If you just go and run this much statement, you will see all the things you can see the routine name and all. So I have not marked up a star over here rather than we have just fetching up a single column. So you can see over here that you will see all the data and you can see that the, there is something called as routine type. So routine can be a function or it can be a stored procedure. You can see out here. So we have mentioned it as procedure. So give us only those routines which are procedures. So now if we go and run it, so we are able to find all those routine whose type is procedure. Similarly, you can also like filter it using the database. That is the routine schema. So you will have to find it and write it something like where and R R O U T I N E routine underscore S C H E M S schema equal to test db and just run this much. So I have also written it like over here. I have just rewritten it. So this is the statement and I will just run it and I will be able to see the procedures which are there in my schema that is test db right then the next command is drop so we can use the drop command to drop the sp name or like we can even right click over here and drop the stored procedure we have already like discussed about this right so like i will not drop it right now and the last point is alter so my sql does not give any command for you to alter any stored procedure if you want to alter a stored procedure you need to drop the previous stored procedure and then recreate it this is the only way of creating a stored procedure because stored procedure does not like saves the table, uh, table data right it is just a set of statements or logical statements which are performed on various tables so anyhow if we drop it and recreate it it does not create any nuisance we can do it very easily right this is the reason why like alter command is not used in stored procedure and rather than altering it you need to drop it and then it. so this brings this lesson to the close and like in upcoming chapters we will be studying more about stored procedure thank you guys have a great day